Okay, draw the polygon rotated 90 degrees clockwise about P. So this is P right here. And we're going to draw it clockwise, meaning we're going to go this way, right? Um, 90 degrees. So if you want, you can use a protractor. Okay, we're, we're going to um, just kind of sketch it. So I'm going to do one point at a time, one vertex at a time. Here, point C. I'm going to draw it like this. And then I'm going to draw my other line to my image to C prime so that the angle formed is going to be 90 degrees. Okay, so then maybe like right there. Okay, so then here, make sure it's the same distance. That's C prime. C prime. Okay, uh, let's do B. So here, okay, something like that. And then, maybe right there somewhere. So this is going to be. B prime. Then my A, okay, this one's going to be a little bit um, further, so it's, it's better for you to use a ruler if it's kind of far. Okay, so just kind of use it as a reference. You can also use maybe the distance between this line and then to the C, so then this line to this line, so how far apart are they, and then make it that same distance when we draw this line, right? So for this one, it's going to go somewhere like that. And again, make sure that this line right here to this line, A, P to P, A prime is a 90 degree angle. So, oh. Okay, maybe somewhere like right there. That doesn't look straight, but let me just show that again. I'm sure my screen is a lot bigger than your paper, so it'll, it should be easier for you. Okay. So I'm gonna name, label that A prime. And then for D, you know what? I estimated that wrong. Let's see. Should actually be going somewhere in front of. B, somewhere there. A prime. And then for D, should be somewhere there. So this is D prime, and then this is a prime. So when you draw it, it should have the same figure as this. It should look congruent, right? So again, just uh, if you have a ruler, that'll be, you know, a lot easier. Okay, I didn't have a ruler, so it was a little bit harder for me. Just make sure that when you draw the line from the point to the center of rotation, and then from the center of rotation to that prime, it has to be a right angle, it has to be 90 degrees, okay? Or whatever the angle of rotation is. If it's um, 100, and, 100 degrees, then make sure that it's, it's about 100 degrees, okay? And then your pre-image and your image has to look 
the same. If this is just a sketch, so it's, I mean, it's not exactly the same, but it should look very close to it, okay? Okay, well, that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching, educator.com.